good evening everyone i welcome you all to today's class on comprehensive approach to lower limb doppler ultrasound so in today's class we will be discussing about the lower limb arterial doppler mainly so let's revise a little bit about the image optimization that we discussed in the last class in detail so starting with the color doppler few tips and tricks so starting with the first thing when you are doing an ultrasound the area of interest will decide which doppler technique you will be using so choose the appropriate correct doppler okay the method then remember to optimize your grayscale image if you are doing doppler that does not mean you don't uh, care for your grayscale image optimize your grayscale image remember a good grayscale image is a key to a good doppler ultrasound so starting with probe selection probe selection you will you have a high frequency probe and a curvilinear low frequency probe so higher frequency probes have a relatively higher resolution and therefore they have low penetration because the sound waves gets get attenuated so due to their high frequency they have more doppler shifts and a better doppler ultrasound so as the penetration basically decreases okay your resolution improves but basically these both are inversely related so low frequency probes they have a uh, higher penetration but poor resolution and vice versa so if your grayscale image is not optimized you will get these shades your tgc is not optimized but when you optimize it you get a good grayscale image and once you acquire a good grayscale image you have confidence in the anatomy of that structure and after that putting color and spectral doppler will give you a better result so remember to optimize your grayscale image first then if you want to reduce the attenuation of sound beams with the same uh, probe and same settings what can you do the first thing is you can bring the part which you are examining close to the probe you try to decrease the distance how do you do that you can change your angle of insonation okay and especially in um, the antenatal scans the thinner parts of the female abdomen can be used like the umbilical window can be used and in almost all settings a reasonable amount of probe pressure try to apply some probe pressure don't be afraid that the patient will shout or you might hurt the patient reasonable probe pressure can be applied because the quality of image is the most important why are you doing the scan the purpose should be solved with your scan okay so reasonable probe pressure can be applied after that image optimization you can alter the depth because the deeper you go more sound wave get attenuated and your quality decreases so you alter the depth the sector width don't image everything you need to focus on the area you have want to focus on the artery so focus on that area you can reduce the sector width and zoom appropriately so your frame rate is appropriately adjusted you want to keep the highest frame rate okay and the best the most important and the uh, most um, uh, the the most thing that is neglected in while doing an ultrasound is the doppler angle you usually in the beginning we don't care for the doppler angle but remember it's the one of the most important uh, mechanical factor that causes fallacious reading so see when your uh, the blood is moving towards the probe you get a color red this can be inverted also so in the baseline settings the color depiction will be red and when it is moving away the color depiction would be blue so the maximum doppler shift occurs when your ultrasound beam the angle of insonation and the flow whether towards or away it is in the same line so if it is in the same line as of ultrasound beam you get maximum doppler shift and the calculation of velocity and the spectral tracing they will all be perfect as your angle increases the chances that you get a false reading the false low psvs and altered spectral tracing would increase so remember to keep your angle always less than 60 degree best best is to achieve a zero degree so in curvilinear probe when you are doing this scan it's very difficult to achieve a zero degree this is iota you cannot achieve zero degree with this so what do you do with your curvilinear probe we can do a heel toe maneuver 
so this probe when it is tilted you now create an angle with the vessel and when this vessel the angle is less than 90 degree you will get flow here the flow was not there because the angle of insonation is 90 degree so you decrease that angle by using the angulation of the probe or using heel toe maneuver okay this was for curvilinear for linear probes see this is the ultrasound beam and this is the direction of flow so the angle between them is the doppler angle so what you can do is you can adjust this angle by two things first is you can adjust the angle by angle correction that will come into play when uh, once you're steering and everything has been done and still you want to optimize the flow so when the color box angle is correct you get complete filling of the vessel if the angle is suboptimal see there is patchy loss of color so your when your image color image is not good the spectral will also be not good so start optimizing your grayscale first then the color doppler imaging and followed by the spectral one then we can go for angle correction and everything so to avoid this patchy appearance steer your box okay so how do you how the steering helps see this is a straight box and the angle of insonation is 90 degree so we are not seeing flow here is this uh, flow which is not appreciated here because of a pathology no it's not because of a pathology it's because of the mechanical or the technical factors so if you angulate your box and now it forms a parallelogram so once you have a parallelogram you see how nicely the vessel is filled completely now okay so this, this is what we want so this was a technical factor which you have corrected now the second case here we are seeing some plaques okay this is your carotid doppler you see some plaques and when the color box in a form of parallelogram is placed here we are not appreciating any flow in this region now why are you not appreciating any flow because the angle of insonation and the direction of the flow they are forming 90 degree cos 90 is zero so no flow you adjust the color you adjust your steer of the box and now you see the color here so again the absence of flow was technical here so you have to differentiate the pathological causes and technical factors which are not letting you see the flow which is present am i clear till now if you have any doubt you can let me know so after that you have to optimize the color box size you want to achieve achieve the highest frame rate for that image and then position of the box you don't want a big box covering entire screen you want to focus on a small vessel so have to have a you know bull's view eye you have to see that image and you have to focus the color box of the the size of the color box accordingly so try to move it to the center of the vessel and then adjust the size to fit the area of interest then the gain as you do for b mode imaging so color the optimize this uh, color gain accordingly just turning the knob would adjust the gain gain is basically the overall amplification of received single signal so if you are receiving this signal when you turn on the knob for color the signals would be amplified and hence you will see them more clearly but if you have a very high gain then there will be a noise in the image and the color will start bleeding out of the vessel it will not serve the purpose so and if your gain is low then the weaker doppler signals would be left out so you have to mix and match and adjust accordingly the color gain see here the color gain is very high and the the color is bleeding out of the vessel you don't know where the anatomy is now because your gain is very high if the gain is too low there will be patchy non-visualizations you don't see color in these region of the vessels this region you don't see but the flow is there you know it so you have to adjust just right so when that is done the entire vessel is nicely filled with colors so adjust the gain then PRF, what is PRF? PRF is the frequency at which the ultrasound probe is sampling the Doppler signal. So it is going to determine the range of velocities that your ultrasound system can detect. If you lower the PRF, you are going to increase the sensitivity to low flows like venous flow. But if the PRF is too low, then 
all the velocity